Welcome back guys. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this next episode up, but I'm going to try to uh, start working on the other episodes in a quick succession so I can get all these up and then start moving on to other games. May even switch over to other games in the meantime. Um, I have to remember the volume is very loud on this thing. So I'm just going to put it at the its very lowest level. And uh, if you would rather hear the music at some point, or you think it is still too loud, and I'll just turn it off uh, or figure some way around that. Let me know. Uh, le you know, leave that in the comics comments for me. All right. So uh, last one, we that was the second stage. We had gone down an elevator, and so here we are now in the elevator. This stage is called Menace Level Three. So we're going to see what we can do here. Elevator control panel. Something is missing. So let's go up. Alright, so this is a pretty obvious wall here, different. And this brick here looks... Okay, well it looked different. I thought that was going to be it. I don't see any difference. Okay, so we'll figure out what's up with the wall later. look at this little corner here where you get a pipe yep little pipe and some books so let's look at these books here Alfred Hooper has an alternative hypothesis for the origin of the Roman numeral system for small numbers. Hooper contends that the digits are related to hand gestures for counting. For example, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 correspond to the number of fingers held up for another to see. V then represents that hand upright with fingers together and thumb apart. Numbers 6 through 10 are represented with two hands as follows, left hand, right hand. Middle Ages and Renaissance Minuscule lowercase letters were developed in the Middle Ages well after the demise of the Western Roman Empire. And since that time, lowercase versions of Roman numerals have also been commonly used. I, two I's, three I's, IV, and so on. Since the Middle Ages, a J has sometimes been substituted for the final I of a lowercase Roman numeral, such as IIJ for three or VIJ for seven. This J can be considered a swish variant of I. See example. The Oxford English Dictionary states that pool is generally any of various types of, bill of billiards for two or more players, but goes on to note that the first specific meaning of a game in which two, each player uses a cue ball of a distinct color to pocket the balls of the other player in a certain order, the winner taking all the stakes sub submitted at the start of the contest is now obsolete and its other specific definitions are all for games that originate in the United States of America. In the United States through the original pool game or though the original pool game was played on a pocketless carom billiards table the term later stuck to all new games of pocket billiards as the sport gained in popularity. And so outside the Q sports industry, which has long favored the more formal term pocket billiards. So I think there was another page over here, if I remember the arrows. Patrick, Stephen, John, Andrea. December 17th, November 18th. Patrick, Stephen, John, Andrea. Okay. Well, let's see what we can figure out here. All right, numbers 1 through 10, Albert, John, Eric, Stephen, Melissa, Mark, Patrick, Andrea, Todd, Edward. 
So I'm going to say those are numbers. So Patrick, Stephen, John, Andrea. 7428. Oh, we can take that with us. Okay. That's good to know. Spot. Okay, never mind. Okay, that didn't work. Can we hit it with the lid pipe? No. Ah, let's try the wall. Maybe that brick is special after all. Oh, yep. Awesome. So we get a little key. Let's try that in the elevator. It looks like it's the same shape there. Cool. And now we have a little lockbox, it looks like. We have seven four two eight. Okay. We have a key. Let's try that on the first door and go from there. Good, good, that worked. And look, we have a billiard stable. We have a beer bottle now. No pool balls. Ten seven. Nine five. Fifteen fourteen. This one is eleven nine. Interesting. Does that say javelin? Javelin beer? Not sure I would want that. Got a key. Look at the shelf here. Hey, a billiards ball. All right, great. One. Suitcase that we can't get into. Let's try the key here. Nope. I was going to try the kitchen, but it didn't let me, so I'm going to go over here now. Let's pick up this hat. So, nails, we probably need a hammer or a crowbar or something. Something just happened. Okay, must need that later. Okay. Now let's go to the kitchen. You do not want to get there. All right. I'll take your word for it. You seem like a trustworthy person. No danger there. Oh, OK. 
Okay, get a knife. And what do we have here? Fruit scanner. Button. That we can scan the beer. Alright, so the lock, we don't have the numbers for yet. Maybe that billiard ball has to do with that. We'll have to collect the others. And find a way to have them give us a sequence in order. I don't remember that being there. What would have done? Oh, the button. Okay. The button we pushed by the cash register. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so we have a key. Let's try the briefcase. Alright, there's our hammer. Key number four, billiards ball. So you probably have to collect four of them, and then the numbers will be a sequence to open the lock. Oh, right, let's... Uh Let's take those nails off the wall. Oh, one of these puzzle games. Great. Well, you'll get to see my genius with this. Not really. So close. There we go. Finally. Oh, there's a second one. What fun. I'm a poet and I didn't even realize it. 
All right, I'm not a poet. Got the second one. And a third. Yay. Huh. Thought that one was going to be easy. I don't know why I thought that. Is that like the exact way that started? I feel like it is. Goodness, that's over. All right, one, four, two. Stab the chair. All right, that works. Square, triangle, circle, pentagon. Four, three, zero, five. Okay. Because that is the number of sides that those shapes have. So the billiards were not 
really could after all. But if going off the book that we read, it should go here somewhere. So these must be some kind of tell as to what goes where. 15 to 14. We went away, so let's do that. Eleven to nine, or eleven minus nine. Two. Ten minus seven. That's three. I thought we put one in here. And then nine minus five, four. Something happened. Thanks. Don't know what, but something. Oh. We got a key card. That's what happened. But go. Dash key card. All right, so let's use that on our nice little trusty cash register here. Okay. Can we scan it now? Yes. We have something here, another key card. Hotel parking key card. All right. I didn't see another key card thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> the other door that completely forgot that there was another room. All right, let's us get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what's about to happen. Um, that didn't look good, though. Hopefully he's on our side. Something tells me he's not. Or she. Who knows. Um, Alright. Well, that is the end of the third episode then. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go ahead and start working on the fourth right away. So that I can get those up and done for you. And uh, we'll move on to some other games. So same thing. Uh, subscribe, definitely. And leave a like. Any comments, suggestions, leave those uh, below. And any suggestions for games that you might want to see played. Um, this is not the only genre that I do. Of course, I, I like a, pretty much every kind of game out there. So anything that you want to have me play, uh, put some suggestions down below. And I'll um, definitely start working on this. Alright, again, thanks for watching. And I'll go ahead and end that here. And I'll see you next time.